Sophie and I came to it, we actually did go to the government um, centre of excellence for online engagement and it was through several conversations with them that they um, finally said look we think some people are using Lumio. The idea around Lumio because it was for us a new tool and untested waters and actually just having a public like a widely available public discussion was new for us as well. The way Lumio has fitted into uh, that whole system is basically that it will just allow to, us to expand on what would typically be the uh, kind of local town hall thing um, by allowing us to put it online and reach just much more people, hopefully. We put quite a lot of resource and effort into training a whole group of facilitators. And then we moderating, had obviously. moderating, not as we yeah. didn't put as much thought into it in advance, the moderation. But as soon as we were challenged, um, a, a core group of us got in a room and very quickly came up with a, which I think was a really good framework for moder moderation. It and it created a lot of safety for the team because yeah. they knew when this happens, go to this level, you know, <laughs> then do this, then do this. And it was an escalation ladder, really, of responses. Okay, so I think Tom was just saying that um, the Lumio, he, he thought it was great that we reached people who otherwise wouldn't have contributed to the conversation, including um, marginalised populations and youth. I mean, we really liked the response, you know, Lumio staff and, um, you know, we just had a really good experience and the, the training and facilitation was really great, the support was great. Um, it's, it's really just more about bringing something that's got quite a different underlying philosophy into an organisation and, and then, so we, it really suited that purpose and I would go there again if I was looking to um, really reach out to a lot of people.